Hey guys, Ryan coming at you. No, I'm not going to try and be Sean from high level. Um, this is Ryan with no energy. Don't know how Sean has as much energy as he does. I don't want to take what he is taking. But anyway, it is a Thursday afternoon. And this video is going to be for a snapshot <clears throat> that I have that allows you to do A-B testing using omni-channel outreach. So we're going to do voice, SMS and email and we're going to A-B test that. And we're going to let the system decide whether or not <clears throat> to use multi-channel using voice and SMS or just use email just by checking some details on the contact, right? So the idea here is that you can deploy this into all your sub-accounts and then anybody can quickly say, great, I want to reach out to them on all the available channels and I want to have a variation on what we're saying. And we're going to continue to reach out to them until we get a response essentially right so the beauty of workflows is that you can connect them together so no longer do you have a million triggers which is fantastic um, but you also don't want one gigantic workflow that's completely immanageable um, unmanageable immanageable it's one of those and you know from a troubleshooting point of view a um, you know, the ability to figure out what's happening inside of a workflow. If you have a gigantic diagram with a million elements on it, like good luck, right? So the best thing to do is to create smaller ones with conditions and evaluate them to true or false and then pass them off into another workflow, right? Now, I say that one of these workflows is quite big, right? But for a reason, right? When you're using like loops and things like that, it has to be. Anyway, here we go. So this snapshot... Have it, it's available in the description. Take it, do something with it, make it better, right? Because mine's never gonna be the best out of the box. So here it is, right? So I just create different segments, right? So workflow one, I'm gonna segment the contact and then depending on the results of that, we're gonna go into either two or three or four, right? So what are we doing? We're saying, all right, we've selected five contacts or a tag or whatever trigger you want, right? There's no trigger right now. You would add your own trigger. Go for it. Mine's going to say, well, we're going to do a multi-channel outreach to this, but the phone that doesn't have a phone number. Cool. Well, if it doesn't have a phone number, we're not going to do voicemail drops. We're certainly not going to be doing SMS. So you choose a workflow that is either multi-channel or you know, is pure voicemail, right? So you could choose to do either of those, right? Or you could say, no, well, I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to do email only, right? Um, which I have as well, right? So pure voice and SMS because it's phone or across all three channels or email only, right? So make a decision right there. Then, so straight into voicemail and SMS, right? So you could be like, oh, yeah, we're doing a voice only call, uh, voice only channel outreach, and we're going to split test, right? So the way we do that is just add a tag, right? With A or something. And then check to see, well, did you add a tag A to that contact? And it'll say, yes, use that voicemail. If it doesn't, use the other one, right? And then essentially, Bs will go over here and they'll get a, the B variant of the voicemail, right? Then it's just as easy to jump back over here and send the same follow-up SMS. Now, I'm not splitting the SMS into a variant, right? Because it's just like, oh, I left you a voicemail or whatever, right? And then, you know, wait for a reply. And if they do reply, um, add them to a pipeline, do something with it. And if they don't, well, send another voicemail, do whatever, and keep going until they do reply, get the reply, and basically harassing the shit out of them until they reply, right? So this is like a predominant, you know, voicemail and SMS um, workflow. Multi-channel, I'm going to use email, voice, and SMS, and I'm going to A-B test that, right? So, again, you could randomly select uh, which ones are going to get A's and B's, right? If you're going to properly A-B test something... It has to be an even distribution, 50% of the traffic, 
would get assigned an A, 50% the B. There's ways to do that. I mean, the time it takes to do stuff, usually I just select 20 in a list, tag them A, send them across, select another 20, tag them B, send them across, see which one works better. Cool, so this one goes, no worries. I like to add things to, to pipelines in the very first contact, even if they haven't responded, right? I just like to see that they have actually had some outreach done to them. Um, I've got some user assignment in there. I then say, cool, well, are they gonna get the A or the B variant? Go down one or the other. Um, wait for a reply. And again, not getting replies, we're following up. Not getting replies, we're following up. So we just continue to loop through multi-channel. There's a cold voicemail. There's another one. There's another one. And then, you know, we're unresponsive. They got a restraining order or whatever. But we're always looping back, right? We're always going back when we get a reply to this stream, right? So then we're just going to go add to a pipeline, say that they replied, assign it to somebody, do something. Okay. And of course, one of the decisions that we could have made was that it's email only, right? We don't have phone numbers. We certainly, maybe you've got landlines, we don't have mobiles, right? So then you want to say, cool, well, check for that. And if that evaluates to, no, it's just an email. The phone number is not a mobile, right? And there's ways you could do that. Then cool, well then put them into this one, which is email only. And again, split testing for A, wait a little bit longer than SMS and voice. And essentially we're doing exactly the same thing. So your B variants, no reply, getting follow-ups, but also then continually looping back, right? Now, if you're a big workflow person and you're not using go-tos and you're not using adding to additional workflows to connect workflows, I highly suggest you do. I mean, even though these look big, they're pretty simple in what they're achieving. And I guess I could have broken this up into smaller workflows. Um, it's not doing a lot. So the ability to kind of troubleshoot and diagnose issues with this isn't going to be that bad. Um, so yeah, that's it. So, you know, think about that, connecting workflows together. Um, you know, think about it like a survey, you know, where surveys have qualification questions before they go on to the next survey, before they start the survey, because you're evaluating somebody on whether or not they should be answering the questions in your survey. And then depending on how they answer questions, you know, you're serving them a set of different questions as they go through, right? And of course, if you didn't want to split test something, send them to a no split test, right? Um, and then with all of these, I usually attach a long-term nurture to this, right? So you're not getting a response from anybody for 20 days. They never responded to anything. You're just going to send them stuff, right? Four or five touches. Um, but you send it to them you know, with a bit of a delay, right? Because they might have had the fatigue from, you know, getting a message several times in a short amount of time. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments. Please hit the like button because it helps me get recommended. And I'm doing this because I like it, right? For no other reason. As I said, if you want this, grab it from the description. Stay frosty. Hope it helps somebody today. Cheers, bye.